Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Angry cheerleader who knelt for anthem in front of everyone realizes huge mistake too late. This has to be the feel-good story of the day. The former Kennesaw State University cheerleader Tumia Dean told local media that she was cut from this year's team because she made a spectacle of herself by kneeling in protest during the national anthem last year. Here is what one of the cut cheerleaders had to say via the hill. I think it played a role because I know my skills, and I had the skills two years prior to that, so I know what I can do," Dean said. I know the people who made it. I know their skills and I know my skills," Dean said. But I don't think it was a skills-based thing. Not to say I'm amazing or anything, but I know my skills and what I had. The Hill reported that the five cheerleaders drew praise and criticism for the September 30th demonstration. The girls took a knee after the Georgia State Attorney General said that students attending a public university could, in fact, kneel during the national anthem just as long as it was not in a disruptive manner, but the university rightly banned the five cheerleaders from the pregame ceremonies although the university did allow the cheerleaders to return to the field later in the season because they received backlash for their ban of the girls. Here is more on this via the Kennesaw patch. The president of Kennesaw State University announced Wednesday that he's reversing a controversial policy involving cheerleaders and the national anthem. The university had barred its cheerleading squad from entering the field before the playing of the Star Spangled Banner at football games after five African American cheerleaders took a knee as the song was performed before a September 30 game, according to media reports. The move drew national attention and criticism, as some commentators said Kennesaw State violated the cheerleaders' free speech rights under the First Amendment. Kneeling or not for the national anthem has become a divisive issue across the country. It erupted after several National Football League players this season, following the example of exiled quarterback Colin Kaepernick, chose to perform the silent protest to raise awareness of social injustice. Via Twitter, President Donald Trump has pressured the NFL and its team owners to punish players who choose to silently protest by kneeling during the singing of the Star Spangled Banner before games. In a letter to students, faculty, and staff Wednesday, Kennesaw State President Samuel Olins said that at the university's next home game on Saturday, the cheerleaders will be allowed to enter the field before the singing of the national anthem. While I believe there are more effective ways to initiate an exchange of ideas on issues of national concern, the right to exercise one's freedom of speech under the First Amendment must be protected, he wrote. When they protested earlier this season, the KSU cheerleaders drew support but also criticism. One critic is Cobb County Sheriff Neil Warren who said he was offended when he saw the five cheerleaders kneeling during the anthem before a recent home football game. State Senator Earl Earhart, a Republican, also criticized the cheerleaders. A university student cannot demand a taxpayer-supported platform, like a football field, for their political speech, he wrote to Atlanta TV station WXIA, 11 Alive. Leave the politics to the public square paid for and shared by all. The Georgia Board of Regents, which oversees KSU, is conducting a review of how the university responded to the cheerleaders' protest, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported Wednesday. In his letter, Olin said he will stand during the playing of the national anthem at Saturday's game to honor the women and men who have served in our nation's armed forces. I do not believe that this debate has to be a choice between honoring our veterans and protecting the freedom of speech, he added. We must be able to do both. As you will recall, these ludicrous on-field demonstrations all began back in 2016 when former 49er player Colin Kaepernick started to see that because of his laziness he was about to be cut from the team. So he decided to use this fake social justice platform in order to call attention to himself after being replaced as the first-string quarterback so he could remain in the news. To date, these protests are still happening, but interestingly enough they only happen on the field. Not one of these millionaires has been seen protesting volunteering or trying to make a positive difference when it comes to social justice in the off-season. Interesting, don't you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.